Ohio is home to a wide variety of landforms, some taking shape over the course of tens of thousands or even millions of years. These landforms often affect the way we live and impact how we use natural resources and the land around us. Some are easily seen throughout the Ohio landscape. Others are not readily visible and can pose a hidden potential hazard to buildings, infrastructure, and even human life. As part of its mission, the Ohio Geological Survey researches and maps these features to help mitigate such risks. One such geologic hazard is known as karst. Karst is a landform that develops in or on carbonate bedrock, such as limestone and dolomite, and evaporites, such as gypsum. Karst is characterized by features such as caves, sinkholes, and disappearing streams. Karst is a uh, landform that's found in many areas. Um, it's an area where you'll find uh, various features. Um, so a karst terrain would be something that has sinkholes, uh, caves, springs. Karst terrains form by the dissolution of the underlying bedrock. Um, so bedrock has fractures in it um, just from when it develops and over time water percolates down through these cracks and dissolves them and widens them, partially by the addition of uh, acid uh, from the atmosphere as, it falls, uh, as rain falls through the atmosphere, uh, and also by the uh, acidification of groundwater. Uh, and these, these cracks open up progressively and the surface material falls down into them, uh, forming sinkholes. Some karst terrain offers an opportunity for exploring our state's scenic features. Well-known examples include Ohio Caverns in Champaign County, Seneca Caverns in Seneca County, Olentangy Indian Caverns in Delaware County, and the so-called Blue Holes that dot the landscape near Castalia in Erie County. All of these features are formed in carbonate rocks. We're at the Castalia, Ohio Blue Hole, um, one of the blue holes in this area, uh, located at the State of Ohio Trout Fishery. As you can see, the bugs are a little thick today. Uh, so a blue hole is a feature where the water from below the surface upwells back to the ground level. Uh, so up slope from here, the water drains into the ground in sinkholes, uh, travels laterally underground in the water table, and then upwells at the surface. Uh, this water is very cold uh, from being underground for so long, so it makes um, a good location for a trout fish hatchery, as they've done here. Um, it's also very concentrated in fertilizer such as nitrogen and phosphorus. Um, so you'll see a lot of um, watercress blooms or alg algae blooms in this water. This is a good example of groundwater contamination. The, 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 the fertilizer has come off of the fields and is now being re-expressed at the surface. Nearly one-third of Ohio is directly underlain by Ordovician, Silurian, and Devonian carbonate bedrock that has the potential to develop some karst features. The potential is shown in the fractures found in high walls of the state's limestone and dolomite quarries. Currently, less than 2% of the Ohio landscape includes karst terrain, due in large part to a thick layer of glacial deposits that cover the bedrock. These deposits can help to filter contaminants and bury or impede karst forming processes. Nonetheless, many areas around the state are highly susceptible to karst and its effects. Karst is important for a number of reasons. Um, the main one would probably be for land planning purposes. Um, if, you know, if we can map where the karst is prior to the development of areas, then we can hopefully avoid them and mitigate them uh, and avoid possible future collapse. Um, other important reasons to know where the karst are, for example, in Bellevue, they've had a lot of flooding in the past, where if there's too much uh, rainfall, the sinkholes reverse flow and turn into springs and flood the surface. So we, we're attempting to map these areas so we can get a better handle on how we can deal with this in the future. Um, another big problem with features like the sinkholes is their direct conduits for surface water into the water table. So where if you don't have sinkholes, your, ground, your, your surface water percolates slowly through the soil and can be filtered of contaminants. If you've got a hole, big fracture uh, in the rock, then your um, water table is being directly polluted by the surface waters. So if you have a water well uh, for your house, and especially in a lot of rural areas, it can be very easily polluted. Because karst can pose serious risks, it's important to map and characterize those areas of the state that are most prone to karst formation. 
Detailed karst mapping conducted by the Ohio Geological Survey provides a readily available source of data and information that homeowners, land use planners, and industry can use to mitigate the risks associated with karst. Ohioans can help by alerting the survey of any potential sinkholes or caves they find on their properties. So if you think you've found a sinkhole, if you've got something that has uh, closed drainage where the water is draining down into the ground, uh, you can contact us and we can review it, see if we think it could be a sinkhole. Um, you can contact us by phone, email, uh, or we have a karst uh, submittal form on our website. For more information about karst features, including maps and reports, visit the Ohio Geological Survey website at ohiogeology.com. Karst mapping conducted by the Ohio Geological Survey is made possible by a grant from the U.S. Geological Survey administered through the Great Lakes Geologic Mapping Coalition.